Design the component with variable thickness, such as an automotive body panel, where weight can be a design concern, has typically meant a number of complex steps are required to generate the geometry. The new variable offset face command inside of NX11 reduces all of these complex steps to just one and also just shows one feature in the part navigator. So let's take a look at an example of where variable offset face can assist in the design process when creating geometry with variable thickness. The variable offset face command can be applied to either solid or surface geometry. In this case we're going to apply it to the grey surface you can see. The other surfaces will be used to define the regions for the individual variable thicknesses. So after activating the command, the first thing we do is to select the face that we want to offset. Now we select three of the other surfaces to define the boundaries for our variable offsets and then start to input the actual values. Notice there are a number of arrows we can choose, even ones that are either side of the rectangular cutout. You'll also see that we can modify the transition between the different thicknesses. Initially it was set to offset, but we do have the capability to add a bridge in there, which means that there is tangency continuity between the different thicknesses. And we even have control over the bridge continuity. You can set it to connected, which means it just gets a sharp transition at each of the surface extents or we can change it back to tangency. Initially you saw me enter the values for the variable thicknesses but we can use the arrows and drag them to position to get our variable thickness. So let's hide the geometry that we used to define the variable thickness regions so that we get a better look at our variable offset surface. Notice that it is made up of a number of offsets and also a bridge. So what about if we want to add a new region into our variable offset face? In this case we simply roll back the model, we sketch a line profile around the area that we want to variably offset, and then roll the model forward, and then using edit with rollback we're simply able to select the sketch to define the new region. Notice that it doesn't have to go the full width of the geometry for it to take effect, but you'll also notice how it's actually varied the offset across the hole. I think you'll agree that trying to model this using traditional modeling techniques would have taken many more features to produce the same shape, and also a lot longer in time. Here, within the matter of a few minutes, we've been able to produce a complex variable offset shape that only has one feature in the part navigator. So that was variable offset face, new in NX11, a particularly powerful new function for those that want to create geometry or components with variable thickness with minimal input.